Good morning, everybody. I'm reading Genesis 32, 6 to 7. Then the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to your brother Esau, and he is also coming to meet you, and 400 men with him. So Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that were with him and the flocks and herds and camels into two companies. Twenty years previously, Jacob had deceived his father Isaac into blessing him instead of his brother Esau. Some time before that, Jacob had cheated Esau of his birthright. Esau had plotted to kill Jacob, so Jacob had fled to live with his uncle Laban. Now, with his four wives and abundant wealth, he is returning to meet Esau. But Esau is coming to meet him with 400 men. Jacob is greatly distressed. It is no wonder, we might say. But Jacob knew that the Lord had told him to go back to the land of his fathers and had even promised that he, Jacob, would prosper on his return. Jacob mentions this twice in his prayer, which follows in verses 9 to 12. But Jacob is distressed. He lays out a plan to try to save himself and all he has. He is not like Elisha, who went standing alone and faced with the Syrian army, told his servant, there are more with us than are with them. He didn't have the confidence of our Lord Jesus, who told Pilate, the representative of the might of Rome, you could have no power at all against me unless it were given you from above. When the, di when the day of crisis came to Jacob, he didn't have it in his heart to say with Paul, whether we live or die, it is for the Lord. Despite having seen the faithfulness of God to him over 20 years and the abundant promises the Lord personally gave to Jacob. Jacob's focus was not on the Lord, trusting him and accepting his will as perfect. His focus was on self-preservation. Jesus told us that if we are to find our lives, we must lose them for his sake. We all face fearful and distressing circumstances, to some degree at least, on some occasions in our lives. What is revealed in our hearts when that happens? May we commit ourselves to his perfect will. Amen. Have a great day.